Hello everyone. So today we are going to start working on AI controller class for our NPC characters. So here I have set up a simple behavior. Uh, when I go into the vision area of the NPC character, he equipped the sword. And so here we are going to set up the AI controller and then set up perception. So if I move out, you can see uh, the NPC guy is putting back the sword. Now equip and put back. So this is a very simple behavior, but this is the starting point for more advanced behaviors for our AI NPC classes. And I this is already replicating properly because we are using gameplay ability system and we have taken necessary steps previously to ensure everything replicates. So here, if I test with the client, you can see the NPC guy equips and if I go from server and peek from here you can see the exchange is replicated to the server as well from the client and if I move out the client over there you see the uh, NPC guy put back the sword and now let's move this other client to the area of the vision of NPC uh, now here you can see from both servers perspective and clients perspective in real time the equip of the sword is replicated okay um, yeah these are the things we are going to work on today and also I have started using some nice map this is a free map I got from marketplace uh, check it out it's a free map the name is stylized provincial before we get started I'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done from the patron page once you become a member to the date there are closer to 2000 videos for each video you can access project files and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system tutorial series i'm doing you can watch the previous episodes as well i'll leave the link to the full tutorial series in the description and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so first i'm going to create a new folder uh, to put AI related stuff so let's call it AI and let's create a new AI controller class this is the first thing we need AI controller as the parent let's name it AI NPC so this is the AI controller that I want to use in my NPC. So let's open this and under pawn setting, you can define which AI controller to use. So I'll give the AI controller class as AI NPC. Compile. Now let's open this so the next this does not have anything at the moment so the npc character will not show any behavior so first thing i want to do is define in the perception so perception means sight and uh, hearing so perception here yeah, perception and here under sense config we can define uh, the sense types so let's get started with ai side config and here if you expand this you can see many uh, parameters that you can change including the side radius loose side radius that means uh, the distance that the sense will stop seeing so here one important thing is you have to enable detect neutrals otherwise this will not work with blueprints 
because detection by affiliation is not yet supported properly with blueprints it's a c++ feature you will have to implement some alternative method to detect enemies analyze so here we are going to use this on target perception info updated event this will be fired whenever some update happens to the perception system that would mean some character comes into the visible area of the perception system or goes away so start seen or start not seen so here if you break this you can see which character is the, the target and if you break the stimulus and expand this so here this successfully censored sensed will be true if the target is seen by the perception system this will be false if the target uh, went away from the visible area so here I have placed the NPC character and my player will be spawning somewhere over here so the NPC will not see from the beginning if I let's just test this let me print and at the moment there are no other character it's just me and the NPC so I'm not worried about coming any other character to the NPC's uh, vision area so let's just print this let's leave it for 10 seconds so we have enough time to read okay let's test so if I go to the view area of the NPC you see server true so that's the sense config true if I go away, it prints false. So that means successfully sense is false. Okay, all I want to do is when the NPC starts seeing me, he should equip the sword. And if he stops seeing me, he should just put back the sword. It's just like getting ready to fight. So I know it's a very simple behavior, but for now to get started, that's where I'm that's all I want to do so to do that since we have already created gameplay abilities to uh, equip sword and unequip sword we can easily use them here so from the target we can get uh, uh not from the target we should get from the controlled pawn so get controlled pawn and get ability system component and then activate uh, ability uh, tag that's the one we need to use uh, and then yeah, let's connect it here um, right uh, oh this is this is the wrong node I should have used try activate ability with tags uh, yeah here we can't define the tag wrong one try activate abilities by tag okay that's the one now here let me connect first uh, we can uh, make gameplay tag container and I'm gonna select this based on the successfully sensed value. So if the successful, if it is true, I need to equip. Uh, equip is uh, under input. So no, no. So, yeah, here. Weapon equip, and this is weapon unequip okay let's try go here yeah see then basic guy equip the sword and if i move away let's peek here see he put back the sword so yeah that's simple but yeah it's working okay 
let's test this for multiplayer so three players and I'll play it in a editor window so the big one is the server as always smaller ones are clients let's move the server character yeah it equipped so let's go from the client over here and check if the change is visible yeah the equip is replicated to the client as you see here and if i move away you see in real time the npc guy unequip and that change is visible from the client and if i move the other client you see now it equips again and that change is visible from both client server's perspective and the server's perspective so everything is replicating nicely i think this is a good place to stop this episode uh, so from next time i want to set up a behavior tree and start working on more advanced behavior so the first step would be like implementing a system to chase the player and attack the player we will continue with that in upcoming episode and thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in Patreon page link would be in the description below and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye